I think what's given me the most hope looking forward is a new onslaught of innovation. There are going to be some really great ideas that come out of this. There are going to be some unknown entrepreneurs who come in and disrupt and shake things up because nothing prepares you for success like a crisis. I love when I talk to entrepreneurs and they can see something new about the way they make decisions. You teach a lesson one week and they come back with having learned that and have iterated on it, talked to five mentors and have a whole nother business plan. I see hope when I look to rural communities who are thinking about, you know, okay, we've had a lot of challenges thrown at us, but are there some opportunities here and what are they and how do we capitalize on them? Many small communities are continuing to not only band together, but to collaborate with their neighbors here in, in North Carolina. What's interesting about the times that we're in, which I think can deliver more value to America and the world, is what's happening in the streets across America when it comes down to the Black Lives Matter and everything, that go, everything that's around that, right? I think that we're in, at an inflection point when it comes down to very real conversations about race, equity, and I am, um, I guess I use the word hopeful that a lot of these Black Lives Matter signs in white people's yards mirror the conversations that they're having within their businesses, that they're having with their neighbors, with their staff members, and begin to, to, to dig further into what it looks like to create a more equitable America. I've never seen a time in finance where underwriting models and the way that we think about risk shifted so quickly and it did to, to meet the need and that gives me hope that post the pandemic maybe we think about equity a little bit differently. I've been in the CDFI world for 20 plus years. I've seen more interest in the work we do in the last five months than I had in the previous 20 years. That to me is a fundamental shift that is incredibly uh, encouraging. Making a conscious decision to just have hope, to see things that are unseen, which is that place of, of faith. It is young people. It is millennials. It, it, it is sitting around the table with the next generation of, of leaders. It gives me hope. It, it lets me know that the work that I've endeavored to do is not in vain. And so while we can look at 2020 in a nutshell as an, a life altering experience, I think moving forward 2021 and beyond, we can take that life altering experience and say that it was transformative that it unlocked and unleashed something inside of people that they didn't know that was there. My vision and my hope is that post pandemic, that black entrepreneurship, that entrepreneurship in general, that uh, economic development in particular in rural communities far exceeds the levels that were pre-COVID-19. And out of that creativity, we'll have a better economic climate uh, six months from now than, than we had six months ago.